own life. I'm Alex Lewis, and today I'm at Redstone Beach in North Carolina doing a little bit of surf fishing. I've got two rods set up here, the surf rods with some salt cured shrimp on them. So, hoping to get on a few fish. It's late March, so the fish should be starting to run, but then again, you never know. So, stay tuned and see. windy out here I don't know if you guys can hear me or not so a lot of the audio is probably pretty shot in this video but we're catching some of them so I'm gonna keep uh, sticking it out out here and see if I can get one more then I'll have my limit so then we'll head home We're back in the car now. 
we got we ended up with two bluefish and they're both on ice they're back in the back of the trunk and now we got to drive home um and we're gonna try and see if these things really are trash fish like everybody calls them i really don't like that term and i don't i don't think that they're gonna be trash fish so stick around and we'll head home and see what we can make with these things all right you guys we're back at home now after catching those bluefish at the beach so you can see we ended up with those two bluefish so now it's time to find out are these really a trash fish like people say or can you actually make them taste good i think that you can make them taste good i think people just don't know what they're doing when they're cooking them so i'll see if i can do any better than most people can so i already went ahead and i gutted the fish i cleaned them out at the beach um i also bled them when i first caught them which should help with these because they have a lot of blood in them which is what gives them that fishy taste so i've got the grill fired up right now and i'm just waiting for it to get nice and hot so that we can grill them really quickly for a couple minutes on both sides so while we're waiting for that I've got my other ingredients here and I'm just gonna combine those together. It's gonna be sort of like a Vietnamese style um, sort of topping for these, this grilled fish. And then we're gonna serve it over a bed of rice. So what I've got here, I'm gonna mix together these sliced onions, sliced red onion, sliced thinly, these sliced carrots, also matchstick cut, so just throw those in there. And then what I've got here is I have some pickled daikon. So this is pickled in rice vinegar. Also cut like mashed sticks. So I'm gonna put some of that in. I'm just gonna add some cilantro in there as well. Just the whole leaves of it, it doesn't really matter that much. And then I'm gonna squeeze some lime in there. I'm gonna squeeze a whole lime, the juice of a whole lime. Then I'm gonna add this chili garlic sauce to it. Probably about a tablespoon or so, maybe a tablespoon and a half. And then I'm gonna add probably about teaspoon of fish sauce, maybe two teaspoons. That's, yeah, two teaspoons, we'll call it. All right, now we're just gonna use a spoon and give this a good mix here. And now we got that all mixed up in there. So we're just gonna set this aside now. And what I'm gonna do... Yeah, give her a taste. Give her a taste? Yeah. Yummy, yeah. Good and spicy and tangy. Just what we're looking for. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the cutting board because I don't need it anymore. And I'm gonna score my fish. So actually first, what I entirely forgot is that these need to be scaled. So you can just do that by taking your knife and running it against those scales and they should flake right off. Unless you like your, your fish extra, extra crunchy, you can leave the scales on, but I wouldn't recommend it. All right, so now that I've scaled the fish, I'm just gonna go ahead and score a couple times along the length of the fish here to make sure that they don't curl up while they're cooking on the grill. So you just wanna give it a little bit of a cut in there, nothing too crazy. Just like that. So we'll do the same on this one. Probably give this one three because it's a little bit bigger. There we go. All right, now that the grill is nice and hot, I'm just gonna throw them on there, right over those hot coals. We're probably gonna cook them a couple minutes per side. It's not gonna take very long for them to cook at all.
eat. Katie's using a fork and knife, I'm using chopsticks. I'm not skilled enough to eat rice with oh, chopsticks. I gotta pour this first. So, what I got here ah! is Sheesh. a homemade tapache, which is a Mexican fermented drink, which actually I made myself. And if you want to see how to make that, go ahead and click the click the link here. Just plug I'll, that. I'll include a link to that video if you want to see how to do this. Don't forget to subscribe. Push the notification bell. <laughs> so I'm actually going to mix this with a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. He made that too. No. Alright. Oh, now it just looks like beer. So. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for dinner. Don't say thanks to you tried it. I've been trying this. This is good. All right. Now it's time to see whether this is a trash fish or not. Again, I don't like people calling things trash fish. Have you not eaten Because I think this? that it just needs to be made in a different way. So I'm gonna first try just a piece here. This straight up piece of bluefish. It's good. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't see anything wrong Tastes with like that fish. at all. Yeah. Well you guys, the video cut out right there at the end and we just went ahead and finished up eating. It was super delicious. So the verdict is that bluefish actually tastes pretty good. You just need to cook it and handle it in a way that makes it taste the best. Um, that means cleaning out the bloodline, putting it on ice right after you catch it, and then using some sort of cooking technique that really brings out the flavor of it, which in this case was grilling. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing down below. It would mean a lot to me. I post videos like this every Friday. I do fermentation, fishing, and foraging, and I've got lots of awesome content yet to come. So if you guys wanna see more of that, then consider subscribing. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.